ladies and gentlemen, Catherine Albrecht, uh, Dr. Catherine Albrecht, uh, who's got a degree in analyzing all this police state surveillance grid uh, garbage from Harvard. She's going to be joining us to talk about the prison planet and the big developments, not just with the government spying on you, but private corporations and what they're up to in the next hour. We'll open the phones up uh, for uh, Catherine Albrecht as well. But whenever I get into this NSA news, you have to understand, and I'm going to play these clips as well, when Clapper, uh, the head of national security, uh, our national intelligence, and then when uh, the head of the NSA and the head of Cyber Command, uh, General Alexander, come out and say, we're not spying on any of you. We promise. I'm going to play those clips. And then it comes out, they're recording everything. They don't call that spying. They call that intelligence. They're playing all these little games with people. And now it's in Reuters today. Oh, they hand off criminal info. Criminal which you're like, oh, you built a barn in your backyard. That came out years ago that the NSA was giving satellite info to local environmental ordinances, to the local police. I mean, see, that's how I already knew all this. That's what's so frustrating is that they didn't want you knowing about this 15 years ago, so they denied it. Now they're, they're going to use it against everybody and really roll out the tyranny. They can't hide it anymore. I told you a few times the last month that they don't like having to go get a warrant after they've already used illegal intelligence spying to go bust people for petty crimes. So now they're just going to say, you know what, we're not doing any of that anymore. No more due process, no more nothing. This is their revolution against the republic. Their revolution against law and possession is nine-tenths of the law, and they're just doing it openly right now. And everything else will go. Your guns, your speech, it's all going. The borders, the sovereignty, your pension funds, your security, your due process. It's like blowing a hole in a spaceship. The atmosphere of the spaceship goes where? Into space. You need an atmosphere, folks. The Bill of Rights, Constitution, due process is the atmosphere of a free, healthy com uh, country where you can have companies, where you can contract with people, where you've got a rule of law. Collectivism and a ruling government that's not accountable is called tyranny, and the fruit that comes out of it is worse than what comes out of the end of a horse. At least you can use that for fertilizer. It's not right to call the globalists, you know, Brava Sierra, because that's calling them something nice. It's like airborne Ebola to our liberty. And I mean, look at this. I'm going to get into this with Albrecht. 19 U.S. posts remain closed this week as lawmakers say terror threats specific and serious. The worst since 9-11. And they said, get ready. And they use terms on the news. I played this yesterday on the Sunday show. They go, it's scary, isn't it? Oh, it's scary. General Clapper or, 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 or General Alexander, it's scary. Oh, yes. Uh, General Hayden, it's scary. Oh, yes, it's very. I'm very scared. I mean, they're actually on TV going, ooga booga. Ooga. Like you're trying to scare a five-year-old or something. I remember having babysitters and stuff when I was like three, four, five years old. That sometimes would like we'd be in the backyard at night, going back in the house, and they'd go, "Ooh!" They get behind a bush and shake it like they were a ghost, and I'd get scared. I mean, they're literally on the news one. Let us spy on you and take your rights and have tens of billions of no bid spying contracts like you're or Al Qaeda. We'll get you. And then meanwhile, they run Al-Qaeda in these countries. They've got a murdering Christians, Kurds, you name it, mass on record. And they're just clouding the water like an octopus squirts out ink. Or a, I guess a squid squirts out ink. Just going, oh, Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Did I show you how scary Al-Qaeda was? If that doesn't scare you, this mask will really scare you. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. Catherine Albrecht's going to be joining us to look at the full emergence of the illegal spy grid that we've documented for myself 18 years, her for about 13 or 14. Uh... By the way, I know why I wanted her on last week, and now I'm going to do NSA. Will you guys print me those stories about uh, stores can tell wealthy uh, 
uh, uh, patrons via face scanning cameras, but also uh, now stores have databases like uh, uh, people that have expensive web surfing habits get charged more. Online real uh, retailers charging uh, people more according to their search history. I mean, this just shows how the AI system is meant to game everything. Just like Walmart gamed the small towns and shut them down. Just like uh, you know, Amazon gamed all the bookstores and shut them down. You know, what happens when all the little bookstores are gone? Then Amazon can do whatever it wants. You know, they'll be exempt from taxes, but you won't. They get special consideration, then your online bookstore isn't. It makes it very hard to run an online bookstore. I'll tell you, I have one, InfoWarsStore.com. Yeah, there it is. Websites vary prices, deals based on users' information. Wall Street Journal, print that for me. I want to just, because this is everything she exposed on the customer loyalty cards. And, and, and you know, you... You go to a box store, and even smaller regional ones pump you for info and won't shut up. And then you go, hey, listen, I know that's a corporate pitch you're supposed to give. I'm just here to buy it. You know, I'm just here buying some children's books for my kids. And I'm just, you know, well, you'll get a discount if you do. And I go, okay. After they won't stop and roll their eyes, I go, you're getting a speech now. These loyalty cards are meant to figure out consumer behavior. I sign an agreement to waive my rights so what I'm reading can be given to people. Well, so what? They already know. That's usually what a slave says. And see, I mean, I see people all the time going, well, I don't care if, if uh, you know, these companies go bankrupt. I don't own any stock in them. Or I don't care. I don't work at General Motors. So what if they move to China? You don't understand, folks. It all affects you anyways. And I wouldn't be against General Motors going to China if they paid people $20 an hour because then they'd make so much money they could buy American goods. They're just, they pay them 18 hours a day working till blood comes out of their fingers. They got suicide nets. They drug them. They have forced abortions because Al Gore demands top, you know, highest uh, levels of abuse out of his factories. He runs Apple because he's liberal. It's okay. I mean, you know, Obama bombs people. He's black, so it's all right. And... They've now ordered the 15 million robots last time I checked, and millions have been delivered, and they just say, I'll go out and die. And they have thousands of riots a month in China as people starve to death. And, I mean, it's just, and the police are just mowing people down, murdering whoever they want. Looks like a scene out of Elysium or something, the trailer, uh, or, or, or out of District 9, same director. I mean, this stuff's already going on. There's already life extension technologies we're not going to be given access to under Obamacare. I mean, you want front row seats to hell, folks, you're going to get it. And people say, well, there are too many people. And I agree, there are unsustainable, too large a number of people in some areas of the world because of other technologies being suppressed. Once you industrialize people, they quit having more than two kids. Doesn't matter whether they're Japanese or Italian or or, or a Hispanic American family, or a white American or black family. It's these third world populations that have a bunch of kids because they haven't been conditioned yet not to have them artificially. But you don't even have to do that because once people become wealthy, they stop having as many children. But it won't matter with new technological development and if they would stop blocking the development, you're gonna absolutely be able to launch space colonies uh, they've had the designs for that for at least 50 years. Werner von Braun had some of the designs before that for the type of model with the artificial gravity with the big spinning wheel. I mean, we need giant projects like that that humanity gets behind before we expend the resources uh, that we're based on right now while the globalists block the development because they want to use the artificial scarcity of the old uh, resource paradigm to consolidate total control over everyone. As we saw in Katrina, and as we are watching now in New York and New Jersey, the federal government can't and won't help you in a crisis. FEMA ran out of water and MREs in days. Electricity is still off to over one million people. The Red Cross, who is quick to beg for money, is now slow to react. Don't put it off any longer. Get prepared today. While you're on InfoWarsShop.com, check out these other great preparedness items. The Aquapod Kit lets you store up to 65 gallons of water in your bathtub. Pocket Socket provides you with manual electricity for small electronics like your cell phone. The Life Straw is great for your bug out bag.
and check out our complete line of Interfood products for great tasting and nutritionally dense foods that have a great shelf life. If you are looking to secure your home in a crisis, you can order Strategic Relocations, the film, a great companion to the book Strategic Relocations, third edition, and The Secure Home by Joel Skousen. When the time to perform arrives, the time to prepare has already passed. Get prepared now, so if a crisis strikes your home, you and your family will be secure. Go to InfoWarsShop.com. Folks, here are some of the breaking InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com headlines. Conscientious objection by a former soldier and defense contractor, Brandon Toy, who we just had on in the last hour. That article's been reposted to the top of InfoWars.com. A very sad story to watch the video. Toddler dies in CPS captivity after being taken away from marijuana-smoking parents. Yeah, now the cops are taking uh, tissue swabs out of your cheek because those, those cells just peel right off. They just swab you. And if they find any marijuana, your children are taken by CPS. So the persecution of... Uh, people is only intensifying and then they take your child and well a lot of times you're seven times more likely to die in cps custody than any other group just department's own numbers i mean it's just full of scum of the earth uh boston bomber linked with right-wing conspiracy theorist uh, we knew that was going to be coming out uh, they're absolutely trying to demonize yours truly as usual claiming he did it because of me al Nazra mercenaries in Syria slaughtered Kurdish women and children. That's uh, the group that they actually used to attack and kill Ambassador Stevens. They were hired to run security in Benghazi. That's the big cover up there. Fourth Amendment dead in Los Angeles. The police go around just randomly searching vehicles and parking lots now and saying they can do whatever they effing want, close quote. Uh, and that is uh, Pat Cadell, one of the big national pollsters, says John Boehner is aiding Obama in cover up of Benghazi. Absolutely. Uh, eyewitness to Hastings crash. They've now been forced to release the police reports. Giant explosion as it drove down the road before going over to the tree. And the surveillance footage that came out last week shows that. It blows up, like the witnesses all said, driving down the road, boom, blows up like a car bomb, and then goes off the road into a tree. <laughs> exactly as we told you day one. Uh, so uh, that, and there's another article, is the government exaggerating the threat of terror for political reasons? Uh, again, do grizzly bears live in the woods? Do bears eat honey in the woods? Do bears uh, fish for salmon in the woods? Do bears crap in the woods? I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, it's just I read this headline. Washington's blog is awesome, but it's like a rhetorical question. Does the sun come up in the east in the morning? Does the Easter bunny have pink ears? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it just, I shouldn't be laughing about it. I just smell false flag. You're like, this is as scary as a new 9-11. This is what happened last time. Get ready. We're going to get hit. We need the NSA. We need Obama. We need Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda. And we're going, you've been funding Al-Qaeda. You've been giving them heat-seeking missiles. Let's, let's look at DrudgeReport.com, the genius of why all marvel at DrudgeReport.com. Can we punch that up? Just this weekend, I'm working on Obama Deception 2. And I said, we've got to update this with these new fake terror alerts in, in early on in the film. And I want to show people, you know, them saying, brace for all kind of attacks, closing embassies, and then cut to duck and cover. And the kids being told, you know, there's a hydrogen bomb being dropped on you, jump under the desk, does nothing. It was all about fear. It was, it, the, they later admitted it was to create a climate of total fear while our government gave reactors and nukes to the Russians. Because <laughs> our government's defense contractors who want to keep you know, more sales going, you understand. And Drudge gets it. Because, I mean, I'm thinking this here yesterday, putting it in the film, that this is duck and cover bull. And, and, and I haven't talked to Drudge. I haven't talked to any of his crew. Let, let's put it up there. And they get the exact same thing. Not because we happen to have similar brains. We happen to have brains that get reality. Exactly what I've been talking about. Exactly what I said in a Saturday night and a Sunday meeting with the crew up here. I've been in seven-day work week mode right now, big time. So that's just some of what we have. Oh, and by the way, Reuters has the exclusive. The threat fusion centers and local police are given petty crime info. Marijuana, building a barn you're not supposed to. The NSA satellite, video, photos, audio. Everything is given to local police. 
And then the local police that are part of this become federally deputized. So that violates local control. I mean, it violates everything. And now they're going, let's just get rid of it all together because we don't want to have to go open a fake investigation to act like we got the info for the indictment or whatever some other way. And it also came out in USA Today that, well, in the case of uh, uh, Boston alone, they allowed uh, informants to commit 5,000 plus crimes, murder, you name it. Well, of course, they work for them. They go out and kill people that don't pay their cut. The organized crime in this country is, let's say the names, FBI, CIA, defense intelligence. I mean, folks, I have family, a lot of family that was in the Army. And I've been to family reunions and things where, I mean, it's, it's like, I guess that's the only jobs or something in East Texas where this person was in the CIA and this person was in Air Force Intelligence and this person was Sheep Dip Special Forces and this person was that. I mean, I, I knew about all this stuff before I was out of high school. People would read the newspaper and laugh about it. I mean, because it, 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 it's just totally sick, ladies and gentlemen. It's totally sick. The government runs the drugs. They run it all. You understand? Grow up, grow up, grow up, grow up, grow up, grow up. And that's why. Now, I'm going to go to Catherine Albert for the balance of the hour and take phone calls at 800 259 9231. 800 259 9231. Your questions for Dr. Catherine Albert, who we're going to go to, is going to talk about the spy grid, public and private, what all these new revelations mean. But first, briefly, Chris. And in this case, we didn't get in trouble with his wife and stuff. He didn't want to tell the story, but he said he will if I want him to. D during the last segment, I said, when I'm at Barnes & Noble or a grocery store or anywhere, and they keep going, hey, take a customer loyalty card. Take it, take it. Like three times, I'll go, okay, you're getting a speech. If I see a woman who's pregnant, I'll walk over and say, don't take vaccines. Check into the, read the insert. I see people with, you know, the fluoride water for babies. I go, look up Harvard study on fluoride and children brain damaging them. I mean, I do it not because I'm a busybody. I'm fighting the New World Order. I fight them on air, off air, in my sleep, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> and so I was telling the story of every time I go into Barnes & Noble, they'll, they'll sit there and go, come on, you know you want the loyalty card. Come on, it'll save you money. And I go, no, that lets them use my data and sell it. Well, so what? They already know what you're doing. The point is it's wrong. And the point is they use this data to game the prices. I go, I'm actually a national expert on this when they start disagreeing with me. And I go, have you heard of Dr. Catherine Albrecht? I say, have you heard of Infowars.com? And sometimes they'll go, yeah, I know who you are. Well, he's laughing out there during the break going, you don't understand. This weekend I went to a party and, and one of my wife's friends, we basically had to end up leaving the party when she found out I work for you. She brought me up trying to warn people nicely about it. Okay, so I mean, I don't just tell these stories, folks. And again, I'm the bad one for being informed. So I don't want to get in a fight with your wife's friend. I'm sure she's a nice lady. Oh, you know, she's a fantastic. Uh, yeah, she's a fantastic lady. We've prefaced it with that. But you heard me telling the story. And then you're saying she said a month ago this happened. Yeah, that was the, the last time. I'll let them three yeah, times. It was, it was just a little while ago, she said. And uh, you came in, purchased a whole bunch of books. And she said, you know, would you, would you, would you like to save some money? And... Uh, you said, no, no, thank you. And, well, of course, she gave it the second shot. And after that, that's when you, that's when you started in with the, the Alex speech about, you know, not, not signing up for customer loyalty cards or giving anybody your personal information about things. And then uh, tell the rest of the story. You had to leave the party. Yeah, yeah. It, it got a little heated after a little while. And uh, I was... Well, say it. She I, said, I I'm, I mean, she you. said I'm bad, right? Yeah, yeah, she did. She said that I'm evil. Yeah, she said that you were evil. She said that uh, you were an evil person and that uh, you you do nothing but try to spread fear to people and not not tell the truth, but obscure everything. And uh, <laughs> it was pretty out there. Yeah, just like I told everybody that the sheriff and police were dealing drugs and they later got caught where I grew up in Rockwall. I see this is incredible. And, and again, I'm not trying to be mean to your friend. I mean, we're not even going to say her name or anything. The whole point is this just all blurs for me. I see a pregnant woman, I'll walk over and go, hey, please look into vaccines hurting babies because I've got three children and I really care. And usually they're like, oh, more info. I'll say, yeah, just read the insert. It'll say it can give them neurological disorders or even kill them. You didn't used to vaccinate pregnant women or, or newborn babies until just a few years ago. Just please look into it. And, then, you know, and sometimes somebody will go, hey, what are you doing talking to my wife? And I'll go, well, sir, people used to talk to each other. And, and you know, I do this regardless because I have broken with the New World Order.
I am 100% at war with these murderers, and I'm going to try to protect as many people as I can. I would be immoral if I didn't do that. And I give these clerks, you know, I mean, because they're already tracking you when you go to Amazon or whatever. I give them, you know, I give them two or three chimes. And, man, when they start laying into me, laughing at me, I'll go, hey, don't use peer pressure just because your managers are watching you to make me get into this thing. You may not know what it's about, but you need to look into it. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Chris, for telling that story. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.